You know hear me? Yo, she hit me, I just want to repeat myself. Yeah. How did the bust bust the pain his whole head like that? Rasta pasta. Snap up. That flip star, you try to act like you bust a friend? How the fuck you let him go outside looking like that, yo? So the man in my boy, I nah, nah, sorry. Nah, sorry. See, that's true chicken. Chicken is going on here, man. That's true chicken. Yeah. Look at the man in pretty. Nah, man. man. that, Food man. Why I was going to be the one to say something, man? <laughs> <laughs> Chef, they're not easy. I tell you, they're not easy. Hold on. 50 Cent is by far. The biggest troll, if I ever seen one. Man, oh man, this dude don't miss a step or skip a beat. And boy, does he love to troll other celebrities for a good laugh. Now, let's go down memory lane. Flashback. Now, Buster Rhymes was my favorite back in the 90s. He came with this raw energy you just don't see in the entertainment world anymore. I miss that level of rap and MCing. Buster was by far one of those lyrical funny mother lovers, boy. And his skits and storytelling ability, man, I wish we could bring it back to that. But unfortunately, once Buster Rhymes got rid of his locks, all that energy of lyrical rawness he once invited in his music died along with the cutting of his dreads. Now let's get you all caught up to speed. Why is any of this taking place in regards to 50 Cent reaching down into his 48 Laws of Power petty bag? to clown Mr. Buster Bus himself. Why, you ask? Hmm, good marketing. Are they releasing a song together soon? Or is an album in the works? Or whatever endeavors both parties involved has going on? This is good, good promotion. Hey, in this climate and environment we are in, I respect the hustle. Get your bag. Now, 50 Cent is clowning Buster Rhymes. Says he has a leather jacket, hair lock. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. I seen a couple of these photos, and I was just wondering what has happened to Buster Rhymes, man. The Buster Rhymes that we once loved. What happened to him, man? He got fat, cut his locks, and uh, he fell off, in my opinion. No disrespect. A legend in the game. Although, I do want to give some pushback for this clip of him showing love to the Baphomet. We will save that for another video. You know how your boy Donnie do. So yeah, 50 cents, Buster Rhymes is going at it. And I feel like, are we being played? Are you not entertained? 50 cent, boy, he's something else. Roll the clip. Meanwhile, man, I'm chilling. I ain't bothering nobody, I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I go. I go shopping, I give me a mean leather jacket. I think I'm doing my thing. I'm like, you know, I'm my own little planet. I ain't fing with nobody. He's always gotta try to one up on me, right? Have one up on me. I get a banging leather jacket, this will bust to get a leather line up. <laughs> now I would play <laughs> 50 cents, man, he's funny. Now, I would play the Buster Rhymes clip, but he got music in the background. So we're just gonna show you the video. This is him clapping back at 50 Cent. I'm gonna leave 
a link to the video. You can go check it out yourself. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, 50 Cent is a funny dude. He's too old, in my opinion, to be like the bully of the industry and trolling all the time. Every now and then, 50 Cent, especially his adversaries. Not saying him and Buster Rhymes got beef because they're supposed to be good friends. But, um, yeah, man, it's, it's funny that this dude, he just always waits for a moment and he be clowning people. But at what cost and at what price do you continue to do this? I mean, eventually you gotta grow out of this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? 50 is too old to be doing all this stuff, but it helps because it's giving me content and the rest of us content, right? Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll meet y'all in the comment section. How dare you not hit that like button after all this I did for you? Guess you really don't rock with me like that, huh? Well, time is money, baby. And I could be doing something else.